Hey, this is Joe from SoFly, and in this video, we are going to export WooCommerce orders to Excel using WP All Export. So to get started, we'll go down here to New Export, and then we'll select WooCommerce orders from the dropdown. WP All Export, remember, it can export any post type, so no matter what you're exporting, you'll see the custom post type here, and then you just select it to continue. Then we have about 5,700 orders that are going to be exported, and we have some filtering options here. So we can decide to export just a subset of these orders. So for example, if I wanted to export everything that was ordered from somebody in California, I just add my rule here and we're good to go. Now we can filter by anything, right? We can filter by anything with the order data, any of the customer data and all of the product data. We can combine those filters in any way that we see fit, right? So we can have like, you know, all of the orders from California or New York that contain a certain product within a certain date range, something like that. We have other videos and some documentation on filters. Check them out if you're interested. For now, we're just gonna leave those and then continue to customize the export file. Okay, so over here on the left, this is our export file. We can preview it and see what we get by default. We can rearrange the columns. We can click inside to change the column name. We can go over here to the right where all of our order data is, and then we can drag and drop to add a new field. We can also add a field over here by searching. So for example, we can put the name just like that. And this is how we can drag and drop to create our Excel export. So I'm gonna clean up some of these, I'll remove those. And then for the billing name, you know, I, what I could do is I could go over here and I could drag in the last name, right? But let's say I want to have those in one field. So I go over here to custom export field, pull out their name, first name, space, last name, call that column name. And there we go. So this is going to combine first name and last name in one column. And then we export it. And there we go. First name, last name are combined. So now I can remove these. And if we wanted to, we can pass this data through a custom PHP function. So you can see here, I have some functions. And if I wanted to, I can go up here and then I can pass our data through a PHP function. Now we can also pass our data through a PHP function here. So we can write like, you know, my function. And then our billing name is going to be passed into whatever function we specify down here. And then whatever that function returns is going to be used for the cell. Very powerful, very useful feature. You can use it for many, many things. We have a lot of videos on custom functions with WPL export. Check them out if you're interested. All right, then we'll continue. We have all of our order data over here. And then over here, we have all of our customer data to drag in. With WPL export, you can export all of the data in your WooCommerce site, including the product information like the SKU, down here, we have more product data, like the product attributes, color and size. You have your taxonomies, your custom fields, tax and shipping information for the order, fees and discounts, and everything else. Now, if you don't want to drag and drop, remember, you can go over here, add field and search. And if you still can't find it, that probably means that it's buried somewhere in WooCommerce or in WordPress by some WordPress plugin that's kind of storing things in a non-standard way. So you would pass the order ID into a custom function, and then that function would look up whatever data you need based on the order ID, and then return it for you. Again, we have documentation on that if you're interested. Okay, so now I've added my product information, right? So let's preview this again, and you'll see that now I have multiple rows for the same product. And that's because this person has ordered multiple products. So what we can do is we can go down here, and we can disable fill in empty columns. And now you can see we still have one row per product, but it's a little bit more readable and it's a little bit more obvious where the separate orders are. Another option is we can display each product in its own row. So now each order is on one row and then we have multiple columns for all the product information. So for us, I'm gonna leave it with the default settings. And then we come to the separator. Now this is for a CSV export. So by default, we're going to be exporting the CSV. However, in this export, we're going to be using Excel. So we're going to select XLS over here. We have two options, XLS or XLSX. 
You know, honestly, all three of these are readable by Excel and any other spreadsheet software. But you know what? You need to export to Excel. So we're going to select here the standard, our old friend, the XLS. Okay, so that is our export. Let's go ahead and continue. And then up here, we have some scheduling options. So you can set your schedule, for example, to run every Monday at midnight, or you can set up your schedule using cron jobs. We have some documentation on cron jobs over here, or our point and click interface to set up your schedule. This service costs $9 a month. Again, you can just use cron jobs. A little bit more complicated. Either option works. And then down here, we have some other options like export each WooCommerce order in real time as they're completed. Pretty useful if you enable this. Every time you get a new WooCommerce order, this export's going to run and just export that one single order. If you combine that with Zapier or scheduling with Zapier, then you can basically send this order data anywhere. So with Zapier, you can integrate with email, Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Sheets, etc. Very, very powerful. Only export orders once. You know, for example, we could combine this for our scheduling options, run the order once a week, and then every week with Zapier, we can have our Excel sheet emailed to us with all of the orders that happened in the past week. Pretty useful. And then finally, client mode. Client mode allows you to let clients come into your website. With client mode, you can allow non-admins to safely access WPL export and run exports and download the files but they can't create new exports and they can't edit the existing ones, right? If you were to allow them to do that, they'd be able to execute custom PHP functions and really only admins should be doing that. So we have some more documentation all over on our YouTube channel and in our website uh, for scheduling real-time exports, exporting orders only once, client mode and our Zapier integration. So let's go ahead and confirm and run the export. This will take a few minutes. We will come back when it's finished. All right, our export has completed. So let's go ahead and download our Excel file. Let me go ahead and open that up. And here we go. So here is the file we created, open in Excel. Everything looks pretty good, exactly as we set it up. So down here, we have a secure URL. You can give this URL to anybody and then they can access it and download our Excel file. Every time we run this export, this URL is going to give us the most recent version of our export. And of course, we can remove it if we want to deny them access. We have our scheduling options over here. You can read more about Zapier and watch a video on this tab. I highly recommend you check out Zapier. Uh, and then we have export, edit, import. So you could download your Excel sheet, edit it in Excel, and then import it back with WPL import. And then all of your changes that you made in Excel would be imported back into your site. Back over here. We have our bundle. So if you download this file, you can then upload it into WPL import, and then everything that you've exported will then be imported. However, if you wanted to move your orders, there's probably a better way to do it. This feature is probably more useful for something like products with orders. It's a little bit more complicated. First, you want to move your customers. Then you want to move your products. Then you want to move the order. So the orders can be linked to the customers and the products. WPL export makes that process pretty easy. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out our documentation. We have a lot of um, tutorials on how to do that. So that is all it takes to export WooCommerce orders to Excel using WPL import. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.